Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, up? it's Raven and today I'm going to be doing an updated full face makeup tutorial. I've done a full face makeup tutorial a couple times before, but as I try new products I always switch up my makeup routine, so I like to do updated versions. And this is going to be good for anybody who suffers with acne or acne scarring, um, because I do put most of the focus onto like foundation and concealer and stuff like that. I don't really tend to do fancy eyeshadow looks or you know cool lip colors and different stuff like that with my makeup my main focus with my makeup is covering my acne and making my skin look a lot more healthy and glowing so that is going to be the focus of this makeup look but this is just like my go-to makeup look on a regular day when I want to look really put together it is a lot of products and it is a full face so it's not really something that I would do if I'm just like rushing or running out the door but if I want to do a full face for like an everyday daytime look this is what I do so if you are interested in seeing how I created this look right here then just keep on watching okay so I'm starting off with a clean washed face and as you can see I still do have a lot of acne scarring so I like to start off with an astringent and this is just sea breeze it's really cheap and effective and I use that on a cotton pad to completely clean my face you'll be surprised how much stuff is still on your face just look at that then I go into my moisturizer and my acne cream and I'm using two products from clean and clear and just mix those together and apply that to my face to moisturize so this is a new product for me. It is the Makeup Forever Setting Spray. And I've seen gurus use this as a primer, so that's what I'm doing. So I have three different foundations. The first one is the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation, so I apply that one all over my face first. Then I'm also going to add the darker shade of my two Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundations. I have a darker shade and a lighter shade, just depending on how tan I am that day. Today I'm using the darker one, and I'm just applying that around the perimeter of my face, and I'm going to be mixing these two foundations together. So I have two primers. I have the Smashbox primer, which usually I'd use before my foundation sometimes, but today I'm going to be using my e.l.f. primer and I'm going to be mixing that with my foundation to help it blend better. And I'm going to be using my Sigma F80 brush to blend this all in. So once again, it is the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation, also the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation, and a little bit of e.l.f. primer. And the reason why I add the e.l.f. primer mixed into the foundation is because both of these foundations are extremely full coverage and kind of thick, which makes them hard to blend out. But the consistency of the e.l.f. primer mixed in kind of thins out the foundation and makes it go on so much smoother. To conceal and highlight my face, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer and the e.l.f. Highlighter. First, I'm applying the LA Girl Pro Concealer underneath my eyes in the triangle formation, and I'm also going to be applying that in the rest of my high points on my face. Then I'm taking the e.l.f. Highlighter and adding that into the high points of my face as well. Mixing this highlighter into my concealer really amps up the brightening effect. And I'm just going to use a beauty blender to blend all of this out. Moving on to brows, I'm just going to take a baby wipe and wipe off any product that may have gotten on my brows. So I can start off with a clean slate. And then taking a little spoolie, I'm brushing my brows into place. Then I'm going to be using this eyebrow pencil from Maybelline. And it's just a brown color with kind of a reddish undertone. I know it doesn't match my hair, but it's just the one that I have right now. And I'm just going to make sure that's nice and sharp and outline the top and bottom of my brows, creating the shape that I want. Then going into my e.l.f. eyebrow palette, I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. angle brush and using the powder out of that palette to fill in the rest of my brows and feather out the front. Using that same LA Girl Pro Concealer, I'm going to carve out my brows. Then taking this e.l.f. concealer brush, I'm going to blend that out. Using my Makeup Forever HD setting powder and this fluffy e.l.f. brush, I'm going to set my highlight. So this is my new holy grail product. It's the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Powder Foundation. And I love the liquid foundation so much that I had to go back and get the powder. So I'm using my e.l.f. powder brush and really packing that onto the areas of my face where I need the most coverage. It just gives you the most flawless coverage like you can't see anything underneath. After using that denser brush, I'm switching over to a lighter fluffier brush and this is going to help me do one more light sweep of it over my whole face. Mm -hmm. 
To contour, I'm going to be using my Sigma F40 brush and this Maybelline Fit Me powder in a darker shade. And I'm going to be applying that into the hollows of my cheeks as well as my temples, forehead, and jawline. Contouring is really important to me because after using all of those foundations and concealers, you've really blocked out your whole face. So you really have to carve your features back out by contouring. And then also I'm going to be taking this Shimmery Bronzer by Essence. And this is really going to give me a healthy glow. And I'm just using this brush by Eco Tools and applying it onto my cheeks, forehead, chin, and nose. Next, I'm gonna take that same Fit Me powder and this little brush by e.l.f. and I'm gonna use that to contour my nose. Then comes my most favorite and most important part of this whole look, which is the highlight. I'm gonna be taking this Sigma Paris palette and I'm gonna be using this last eyeshadow in the palette. It's like a very shimmery champagne color. It's perfect highlight color for me. And so I'm gonna be using a small brush to highlight my nose, draw a line and then do a little tip at the bottom. And then I'm gonna be using this e.l.f. fan brush to apply to the rest of the high points of my face, really focusing on the high points on my cheeks. Moving on to eyes, I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette and this really shimmery gold color and just apply that all over the lid and crease. Then using a smaller eyeshadow brush, I'm going to go into this really bright gold color and use that in my inner corner to open up my eyes. A new step that I've added is tight lining my upper lashes. This really helps your lashes look so much thicker, so I'm just using this black eyeliner. Then moving into my Great Lash Mascara, I'm just going to apply one coat of that. Then I'm going to be taking my Miraness Fiber Lashes, which is comparable to the Unique Fiber Lashes, which I'm sure you guys have seen all over Instagram. I have that one too, but it's the same thing. So you just apply the gel and then apply the fibers and it makes your lashes look so thick and pretty. So this next step is pretty weird, but I'm going to be taking this NYX eyeshadow, and I was holding that upside down, but it's in this yellow color, and I'm going to be placing this underneath my eye. This is a substitute for the Ben Nye Banana Powder, which gives you that yellow tone under your eye, which really helps brighten it up. Then to finish off the skin, I'm doing a few more sprays of the Makeup Forever Setting Spray, and I love this stuff so much. It really makes your skin look so awesome. It really sets your makeup, helps it stay on longer, and it just makes your skin glow. Like, look at the difference. So the very last step is lips, and this obviously changes from day to day, but my favorite lip combination is MAC Lip Pencil in Spice, and I just use this to line my lips. And then I also have ELF Lip Pencil in Spice, which is a dupe, but it's a little bit lighter, so I use that one to fill in the rest of my lips for kind of like that Kylie Jenner look. And to get that really matte lip look, I just take a piece of toilet paper and blot my lips on it. And here I'm just taking a baby wipe and wiping off any powder that may have gotten on my hair because that's not cute. And that's it. my full face everyday makeup look for just a daytime look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you guys are interested in this hair, I just posted a tutorial for it. I made a DIY wig, so if you want to get all the info on this hair, you can go watch that video. And if you have any questions or suggestions, then make sure you leave those comments down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I ain't got no type. Bad. Is the only thing that I like. I'm filming, comma, I'll call you later, period. <laughs>
I'm a demo. Get your boys like in the middle. I do not say after it's a cat to hit up. And anything I got is not a rental. I own them all, but they get out to get simple. It's not going up like a crescendo. I'm putting the insects from the face. No, 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 no. Try again. <laughs> I know you want me.